lovely Torians. <clears throat> Welcome to your reading for April 2024. This is a general reading for you Taurus. It's a reading for Taurus Sun Rising and Moon Sign. <clears throat> if you'd like to book a private reading with me you can follow the link below to my website and book that reading from there. My lovely Taurians, before your channeled message um, and before your reading there's something here that I would like to address. <clears throat> Last month, someone had made a comment of nothing ever changes for Taurus, which is an interesting, interesting thing to say. Let's clarify. Change doesn't happen around you unless you will it, unless you work with the energies that are available to bring in the desired changes. But the motivation needs to come from within. It's, it, you, you need to, you do you you do you. If you want change to happen, if you want change to bring in, then you plan, you goal set. What my readings do for you is looks at the energies, the astral energies that are coming in around you for that particular month. Is it a month to lay down plans? Is it a month to push through? What sort of energy are you sensing or feeling? And so it really is about your, your intuition, your gut feeling, if you like, coming into play because there is free will. And so if you're desiring change, it's no good sitting there and, and sitting in your living room and thinking, oh, yeah, you know, okay, there's change coming this month and waiting for someone to knock at the door. It doesn't happen like that. It's about identifying what you're wanting, what your desires are, where you would like to be in a year, in five years. What's your five-year plan? Or are you just drifting along and seeing what comes up for you? And sometimes that happens. There's synchronicities around you. Be observant of those synchronicities. If you're desiring change, identify what sort of change would you like? What needs to change in your life? What isn't working for you? Where is your boredom? Uh, it, what puts the fire in your belly? Identify that. Start working towards those goals. The, the readings that I give you identify synchronicities that will come up through that month, the potential that energetically that that month holds. But the desire, the will, the planning comes from you. Your guides don't come in and make things happen for you. They will assist you, but they will only assist you if you ask for their assistance. Otherwise, they cannot interfere. So it's about communicating and really, okay, this is the direction I'm wanting to move in. This is where I feel like my path is, my life's purpose. Come in and bring to me what is, is there for me. It's not... Um, Life, everyone has a different blueprint. Everyone has a different plan. Everyone has different lessons. There is no, you know, if you look at the Buddhist beliefs, there's no positive and negative. Lessons are all equal, regardless of intensity. They are all put in place for you to teach you something. Are you going to look at that? If you don't look at it this time, it will happen again and again and again, and it will get harder and harder and harder. So it's about recognising what do I need to learn here? What do I need to learn about myself and the path that I'm on? And so when you say nothing changes for Taurus, maybe you're not wanting that change. Maybe you can't be bothered putting in the effort. You don't can't identify the changes that you want to bring in, the steps you don't have the courage to take the steps necessary to bring in the changes that you're needing in your life. But you know, Taurus, you're, you're Taurus the bull, you're really strong. There's a lot of power behind you. There's a lot of determination behind you. It's about finding that, finding that energy, that desire, stepping into your shoes and really exploring what is there for you. Life is filled with potential and it's not always there. Some, sometimes it's, you have to work at it. Sometimes you have to plan at it. Other times things will just seem to fall into place. They're the, it's the cycle of life. So I hope you're finding that helpful in, in your part, the part you play in your life, in what's going on around you, the interaction with people in your life. 
So let's get on with your reading now. Give me, <clears throat> okay, Taurus, um, whether or not you uh, listen to the introduction, that's totally up to you. You might have fast forwarded it to here and that's okay. That's okay. I have been meditating on your channeled message and it's interesting because I really get that this month is really about the self. It's about you. It's about <clears throat> being having sending really clear messages to the universe, to your guides, to your tribe about the path you want to take. It's about identifying where you're at and where you want to be. When you're not clear about that, you, you send out these mixed signals to the universe. They don't know. The universe doesn't know what to give you, what to bring to you. And so that can create some chaos around you. So this month, it really is about clarity, clarity of thought, clarity of intention, clarity of goals and clarity of the path you want to work with or pursue. What changes do you want to bring in? It's about having that clarity, sending up those very clear signals. <clears throat> do You do you, as I said in the introduction. It's about the self for you this month. And then you sit back and watch the synchronicities come in. Be observant of what's going on around you. Be observant of the synchronicities. Be observant of the messages that is being sent to you. And that can come in many forms. It can come in um, where you're working all of a sudden, there's chaos, there's some you know there's change happening, there's there's movement, there's you know people people being transferred, people being you know uh, moving about, uh, a promotion opportunity comes up. Be observant of those synchronicities. <clears throat> A relationship may, you know, you may have a best friend that says to you, well, I'm relocating, I'm moving to another country. There's synchronicities there. Oh, wow, that sounds exciting. Maybe that plants a seed for you. It could be in, in terms of a relationship as well, my lovely um, Taurian. <clears throat> so be observant. That's what I'm feeling for you. It's about ha ha sending out very, very clear Signal. So it's not surprising that I was driven to give you the introduction that I did give you. If you haven't heard it, maybe maybe it would be worth a listen. It's not very long. <clears throat> For some, it may be controversial. It's up to you know. You do you. You do you. <clears throat> I'm going to draw a card from the archetypes deck to see what archetype you're working with this month. So let's have a look at. Oh, there it goes. Let's have a look at the, the archetype that is presented to you, which is really interesting. Look what you've got. The self. The self. This is about your colours, your aura, your energy. This is about you, the path that you're heading, you're choosing. The synchronicities you're seeing, working with your, your intuition, <clears throat> honouring who you are. So who's pulling strings for you, pulling you in different directions? Where, what are you needing to focus your attention on? <clears throat> exploring the self, exploring your needs. Maybe you need to come out from under some rubble, you know, under other people's influence to really discover who you are, what you want to do with your life. This depends on your age as well. If you're young and you, you're thinking, well, what, what form of study will I undertake? What job do I want to do? What career is it? What am I interested in? It's discovering the, the self. As you get older, you are influenced more and more by externals. What do you need to shed to really come out from all of that? Other people's expectations, society's expectations, your own expectations, your employer's expectations. Maybe you've got your own business and there's expectations there as well. What do you need to sift through to discover who you are and the direction you're moving in and the changes you want to bring in? So... Everything's pointing to this time of really identifying, clarifying what you're wanting to do with your life, what changes you're wanting to bring in. I just drew a card from the Divine Animal Oracle deck, which is, you've got the bison, very powerful animal. You know, the bison is a lot like the bull. <clears throat> That's your spirit animal this month. And it's about ritual. What's ritual? What's ritual? Ritual is time that we take to honour 
ourselves, honour the land, honour the spirit, honour God, whatever it is, whatever you believe in, it's a ri it, there's ritual involved. When we have celebrations, um, religious celebrations, in whichever form they take, there's ritual involved in that as well. Ritual really becomes a part of our lives and it's in that time of ritual that we stop. We stop, we have a break, we, we, pers we look at other things. So ritual is going to be really important. It's about um, also for you, ritual is something that occurs in cycles. And so it's time now for you to honour the self, to take time out, to create a ritual for yourself. What do you want to do that is good for you, that explores who you are? Have the strength of the bison or the bull, if you like, in being confident in moving forward and speaking up about what you're wanting. What's a ritual as well? You know, coming... Um, you know, every day lighting some candles, meditating, that's a ritual. Having family over every Sunday for a baked dinner, that's a ritual. Religious celebrations, there's rituals, there's food, there's, there's things that you create in that time. Rituals are all around us. Going to work and having a meeting every morning at 9am, that's a ritual. What rituals do you want to establish for you? It's time to um, have a look at what your needs are. Really exploring the self. What changes are you wanting to bring in? I'm going to create the Celtic cross for you, my lovely Taurus. Let's have a look at what's in store here. I like this. I like this time out. Um, it's interesting that I was driven to give you that introduction as well because it really ties into this month. So whoever made that comment, thank you. You know, you, you've really opened up an awareness here, which is fabulous. I like that. It's good to question. It's good to um, put viewpoints forward opinions forward. That's how we expand our understanding of others. What's going on? I like that. So let's have a look at your Celtic cross, my lovely Taurus. You've got the Queen of Pentacles. The Queen of Pentacles is um, <clears throat> being very, very grounded. This is an energy that comes to you. <clears throat> being solid, Enjoy, enjoying the finer things in life, what makes your life comfortable. And this is very much you being in your element. This is where you're most comfortable. And this is how you're coming into April. Really standing in your own element, standing strong, knowing what it is you want to achieve, knowing what you want to bring into your life, what brings richness around you. So you're going to really be looking at that, questioning that. How can I make things more... Um, more to my liking. There's a new way of looking at things that's coming up for you. <clears throat> I like it. You've also got the Eight of Pentacles, which is great. Eight is a very fortuitous number. Eight is good fortune, prosperity. The prosperity that comes to you, the good fortune that comes to you, the rewards that come to you are going to be very dependent on the effort that you put in. How much work are you prepared to put into your life, your, your moving forward, what is around you? Um, the more effort and work, you're going to be, you, you will be very busy. You can choose to ignore it and not do the work or you can choose to really roll up your sleeves and let's get going, let's work at this. So it, it's a time, April will be a time of opportunity, of synchronicities, of busyness. It's about you being very clear about what, what you want to put effort into, what aspect of your life are you putting energy and effort into to bring in the rewards and the, the changes that you're, you're seeking. There's a lot of um, financial gain. There's a lot of a lot of abundance in all aspects of your life. Um, it depends on which area you're wanting. Are you fed up with working for a corporation or somebody else? Do you want to start your own business? Do you have a plan? Is it something you've been putting off and now's the time to roll up your sleeves and put it into action? Start working towards it. 
because you know it's crossed with the death card I like the death card this is not an off oh card this is quite a good card this is this is an indication this is showing you that you've come to the end of the road the way you have been living and what's been going on in all aspects of your life in one aspect of your life it's come to a close. It's That's it. It's finished. So there's going to be completions here. There's going to be endings here. It could be the completion of a study that is going to lead you to a rebirth and something new. It could be the completion of where you're working and you have a promotion or you're changing jobs. It could be a completion of um, being single and you're now in a relationship or you're in a relationship and, and, and it's not working for you. It's time to move on. Um, moving from where you are to to moving to a new location. So, what is that that completion for you? That death death of a situation, death of something, a way of being to give it rebirth. Whenever there's death, there's always rebirth. There always something new comes in comes into its place. Look at that horizon. There's there's a new dawning. There's a new horizon. So it's not about resisting. It's not about pushing back. I don't want this change. I don't want this. It's about embracing it and seeing what the future holds for you. That completion of a particular situation, my lovely Taurus, is a result of um, you working towards something, you becoming aware of something, you setting new goals, being clear to the universe, this is what I want and this is what you will be given. You've got the Seven of Swords as well. It's very, it's an intricate card. Let me see here. Yeah, there's something here that you're processing, something here that you're thinking about, something here that caused you some sort of, um, Mm, there was some resistance in the past or there was something that you were needing to change you've really been thinking about it you've really been processing it um, the lessons that have been laid for you in the past have led you to where you are and it's about okay I'm going to think about this I'm setting new goals so the seven of, of um, swords really is about putting down the you know there's no more resistance there's no more fighting this let's look at what changes I'm wanting to bring in what new goals do I want to set what new you know the lessons have brought me to a new way of perceiving things of thinking about things so there's been some sort of shift on in at a subconscious level with you where you are has no, is no longer um, satisfactory there's a there's a restlessness here to bring in the change You've also got the Five of Cups. You see, this is about the, the past is the past. What are you wanting to design for the future? So don't dwell on the past. Don't dwell on how things were because things, you know, this is the death card. There's a completion here. Look to your future because there's new opportunities. Look at the upright cups. It's about facing your future, planning for your future. What, what things do you want to bring in? So it really is a time of... Um, <clears throat> sending clear, clear um, insights or signals or messages to your guides, to the universe. This is what I'm wanting. You're, I'm wanting that change. I'm wanting to bring in. It's interesting, you know, because this is the introduction. It just feeds into that so well. It's about looking to the potential that the future lies, having confidence in yourself, be like the bison and have that strength of moving forward set yourself a ritual that is set yourself don't just oh, be fatalistic set yourself a timeline set yourself a process where do I want to be you've also got the wheel of fortune here and this the wheel of fortune is you know turning it it's now turning in your favor so by the end of week two of April the wheel of fortune is going to be turning in your favor you're going to start seeing results things are going to start moving forward for you. The changes that you've set in place are going to start falling into place. It will also depend on how clear you are about what you're wanting. Because sometimes we vocalise, oh, this is what I would like, oh, this is what I want. But in your heart, it's not. You've got to really feel it with every cell in your body. This is the change that I'm wanting to create and set about creating it. The Wheel of Fortune is there to assist you in moving you forward, in bringing in the changes that you're wanting. And how does it do that? By showing you synchronicities, by giving you signs along the way. <clears throat> 
something you read, something someone says, an opportunity that is presented to you and you think, wow, okay, what am I going to do with that? Up to you, up to you. You've also got the Prince of Cups. This is, this is moving forward manifesting, creating, uh, being, so, uh, you know, um, solid and secure on an emotional level. But this is also messages coming to you, messages coming to you via your dreams, intuition, your guide speaking to you, synchronicities. It could also be emails and texts. It's sort of in this, you know, um, esoteric field, you know, you, through the wires, the unseen, texts coming, emails coming, phone calls, Zoom, Zoom meetings, spirit talking to you, your guides talking to you, synchronicities around you, be observant and that will help you also to move forward, really feeling it in your heart chakra. There's nothing practical about this. It's not about, oh, well, I'll find the logic in this. There's no logic here. You're just going to be driven to bring in some changes. You've also got the King of Cups. So you're feeling, by towards the end of April, you're feeling emotionally really strong. You're feeling very confident. This is how you're feeling within yourself. Your emotions are, are you. It's yourself. How you're feeling within yourself. What have you discovered about the self? What are your passions? What do you want to make happen? You're feeling really um, enlightened and quite strong about the changes that are coming in, what's going on around you. I like this. You know that what you're desiring, what you're wishing to put in place will come about. There's no doubt. There's no doubt. There's a confidence that comes through with you, an absolute confidence that comes through with you. You've also got the Two of Swords. So what does this open up for you towards the end of April? Decisions. Choices and decisions. Which path are you going to take? The path of least resistance or are you going to take the path of I'm not going to change? What are you going to embrace? You're processing it. You're thinking about it. What decisions am I going to make? What choices am I going to make? What does my gut tell me? So you're coming up to making choices and decisions by the end of April about your future, about your work, about your relationships, about your, you know, relationships could be significant other, it could be friendships, about how you want to work, where you want to live, how you want to live. What have you discovered about the self? That in itself brings changes around you. So it's an interesting month for you. You've also got the six of wands. And so this is about you um, getting that fighting spirit. Let's go. Let's go. Let's bring in these changes. I'm ready to face whatever I'm needing to face. There's a strength there knowing that you're going to be victorious. There's nothing that is presented to you that you can't deal with, that you can't overcome. But there's a confidence there, which is the king of cups. There's a confidence that comes through with you. You know what you're doing. You know what you want to achieve. And you're ready to take that journey. You're ready to bring on those changes. You're ready to put those changes in place. It comes from you. It comes from the self. It's really about exploring, going, taking that deep dive into you, into you this month. And it can be very rewarding for you, it's hugely rewarding, uh, bringing it into May, which is your birth month, isn't it? the beginning of a birth year. So this is <clears throat> the Divine Abundance deck. <clears throat> you've got two cards, so I will give you those. The one, the first one that you've got is Divine Abundance. That's there for you, my lovely Taurian. Absolutely it's there for you. What does it say? You were born to align with Lord's will. Follow the Tao and serve something beyond the ego. Learn to be abundance, not chase it. See what synchronicity is. And you do that by setting the intention, by tapping into your intuition. Also, the, you've also got invite help. Invite the divine to pursue you. Seriously, just say, I'm finally ready. God, pursue me. That's connecting with your intuition. That's connecting with your inner self your inner designs, that spark within you. 
I love that, my lovely Torians. I wish you love, light and many blessings. If you would like to book a private reading with me, you can follow the link below to my website and book that reading from there. Blessings to you.